Your thoughts on uh, going out there and kind of getting your snaps and going through the spring game? How do you think you did? Well, we got the win, so that's one of the main things that oh, we was trying to focus on get the win. So it wasn't a game, you know, that probably feel like I could play a little bit better, but you know what I'm saying? So just gonna go back and look at the film, do the things you know did wrong, could have did better, and just try to learn from it, go go from there from the summer. How would you feel you competed this spring? Um, you know, fighting for this this starting quarterback position. I think I competed really good. Um, this 15 days, 15 days practice we had. Just on um, one main thing, I was trying to just be more consistent. Um, and just you know, all of us, like I can say, Zarek, Cooper, Tucker, Hunter, all of us competing. That was good, healthy competition out there. It just help, it just help us in the summer. As we get going, what do you need to work on going to your expectations so far this spring? You said what? Have you played up to your expectations so far this spring? Um, yes, I feel like this might be one of my biggest, my biggest friends, that, the best friends I've had since I've been here. And so I'm just trying to keep that like, going, going into, like I said, the summer. I'm just trying to like, just stay consistent with it. What are you going to focus on in, in this summer going into the fall? What, what, what do you want to focus on? Where, where do you need to be? Um, just trying to step out of that comfort zone, be more of a vocal guy. That's probably one of the things I'm on. To, I've been trying to focus on emphasis because you know I've ha haven't had that much leadership role the past two years, so just trying to trying to honestly step into something new, get more of a leader. How much pressure have you felt so far with all these guys kind of nipping at your heels? Uh, no, not no pressure. The more pressure you put on yourself, that's when you try to start pressing. So I haven't I haven't put too much pressure on myself. I mean, I, like I said, those guys over there been competing with their butts off too. Everybody wants to be the guy, so you know it's, it's no pressure. I'm just trying to go out there and just. Be myself and just play ball. Going into the spring, you said big focus for you was working on accuracy. You feel like you, you improved as much as you have. Yeah, you know, it's some, it's some balls, you know, I got, got away from it. It's like I said, it's, it's just something you have to keep working at. It's not, it's not just going to come to you like in 15 practice. So, you know, over time, you're still trying to hone in on that too as well. How much did you think you how much did you think you uh, It was kind of hard at first. I uh, really didn't know what was going on, so I was kind of like throwing on three fingers. So just get a look there and see what the difference was bad. What was kind of your mentality going into since it is such a competitive race? Uh, just take one play at a time, compete. And um, like I said, try to get the W. That's pretty much what my set was going into. So just have fun with it. Do you think this helped your, your case or stay the same? Or? Uh, I say, you know, Coach Swing, you told you can't win it in a day, you can't lose in a day. So, you know what I'm saying? Just, I can just grow from it and learn from it. Like I said, go back and watch film. Uh, definitely have some things. You know, it's like, like I said, some pros I wish I could have got back. You know, the ball just you know, set a little high. Just, like I said, go learn from it. Just take, take it. Take it home, um, go with it in the summer. Do you think you've done enough to get the start against Kent State? Do you feel like you've done enough over the entire time for me? No, nah, I don't. Because, you know, I just want to keep on improving. Never try to get complacent because, like I said, those guys want the job. I want the job. And, you know, I'm just trying not to settle. So I don't think that I've got the job. But I'm just going to keep working. Yeah. What are some of the things that you think separate you? You said what? I've been here. I've been here two years, so I know the system. Know the um, know the ins and outs of the offense. You know my confidence has been growing over the spring, these um, past few practices, and so just just being consistent, consistent with my own um, decisions that I'm just trying to make. Just just trying not to be an up and down player. Just trying to be a, a player that's keep going, keep going up. What are your takeaways from this game? Um, like I said, some balls got away from me. I feel like they're extending some drives. And, um, yeah, I feel like it could have been a little bit more accurate with my decisions. Just trying to make a little bit. Just how much ball getting away from me. That's probably it. How tough is it, you know, a situation like this? The set, everything about the setup where you've got, you know, your, your coordinator is also kind of being a head coach. You've got teams split up in ways that you wouldn't normally have it. But is, is it sort of difficult when you're kind of trying to show off a little bit as a quarterback to have those circumstances? Circumstances going on? Uh, I don't think it's difficult. The coaches, like, they make the team the evenness, you know, it can be. So that was a really good thing. You know, just, we've all been working with all, like, the ones, twos, threes, so you get to work with everyone. That's been good. So it went like it was like, we not, like, I haven't been working with some of the receivers and, like, running backs and offensive lines. I don't think it was, like, a tough setup or anything. The coaches put us in the best position possible, you know, with the defense and offense. So we, I give it credit to them. You uh, obviously have a big role going into the next few months of being, you know, the veteran quarterback who's going to have to kind of help lead this offense uh, when there's not coaching oversight every day. How are you going to approach that? Yeah, that's one thing I'm trying to hone into. Just like I said, trying to step outside of that shell. You know, being um, 
watching Deshaun and Nick you know, the past few years, you know, how, how they did, how they went about it. So I was just trying to, you know, take what I learned from them and just apply it.